In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HCl plus ZNS. This is hydrochloric acid. This is zinc sulfide. The first thing we need to do here is balance the molecular equation. So I have a Cl here and two here. Let's put a two in front of the HCl. That balances the chlorines, hydrogens are balanced, zinc on each side, and a sulfur. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so that's going to be AQ, aqueous. It dissolves in water and splits apart into its ions. Zinc sulfide is only slightly soluble. Just a negligible amount of this will dissolve. So for net ionic equations, we say it's insoluble. It's going to be considered a solid. H2S, that is an acid, but it's a weak acid. and That means it's a weak electrolyte. So we're going to say that this is aqueous. It's going to be dissolved in water but it's not going to dissociate. So we need to remember that. Chlorides, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble. That'll be aqueous. So now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Hydrogen group one on the periodic table, that's one plus. Chlorine, that's one minus. That forms ions with a one minus charge. So we'll have two hydrogen ions, and I'll write the states later. Let's not write those now. Plus two chloride ions, the Cl minus. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we just have our ZNS, our zinc sulfide. Those are the reactants. For the products, we have to be careful here. This is aqueous, it'll dissolve, but it's a weak electrolyte. So we're not going to split this apart. We're going to keep it together as H2S, like that in our net ionic equation. For zinc chloride, zinc is two plus, and the chloride ion, that'll be the one minus. So we have Zn2+, plus, and then we have two of those chloride ions, just like in the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I'm looking here. The only thing I see that's the same in the reactants and the products, that's these two chloride ions. I'm going to cross those out because those are spectator ions. Everything else is unique, though. So this is the net ionic equation for HCl plus ZNS. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for hydrochloric acid plus zinc sulfide. You'll note charge is balanced. We have two times one plus, so we have two plus here. And then on this side, we have a two plus. Charge is balanced. Count the atoms up. They're balanced as well. The trick here is to realize that this will be aqueous but it's not going to split apart because it's a weak electrolyte. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.